So let's run this application on the real device and find out how this behaves um, to see if our code properly works and if the, 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 the API properly works, right? So I just want to point out that currently I'm using a MacBook M1 and the MacBook M1 as of now doesn't support, doesn't have an Android emulator that has uh, the Google Play services, right? So this is what I have when I try to run this on my emulator and the emulator I have right now on the on the MacBook M1 this is it so this this emulator doesn't support the Google, the Google Play services and for that reason we can run this API we can run this uh, attestation library on on uh, on this emulator for that reason we will run this on a real device so I just plug in my real device uh, is a Lenovo and I will run this application on this real device and find out and find out the result right so this is visor visor will help me to share with you guys the result of uh, of the application so right now it is installing and let's see how it goes now it launched and in few seconds we should be able to see the result right here Ah, good. This device matches the CTS properties, right? You can see that um, we have good results. Wow, that means our device is clean and our device has no integrity issues. And we can be sure that any application running on this device has nothing to worry about any integrity issue or security issues, right? Yes, so you can see that the device matches the CTS properties. So that's good. That's good. So one thing I want to do now is to check this in um, in debug mode so that we can see the setting or we can see the result of this uh, in the debug mode to have more information, right? So let's run it in the debug mode and see the various steps, yes. So let's just be patient. It's installing and in few seconds we should be able to have the result right so one last thing i want us to to check is to actually go through in debug mode to find out at each step what is the result right so right now you can see that in this first step here is the result and we have a string here is the result and we have a string and uh, and now in the next step right the next step we send a string to the verify send net attestation request right this is a string and we send the string to this uh, to this our method to, or to this our function and after that we we call this safety net service api to verify um, if this sign attestation is genuine or to, to verify if it's valid right and we do that And the next step, once we have our response, our verification response, we check if this is a valid signature, right? And if it's a valid signature, we now pass the string, the JSON Web Token, actually, which is in the string format, we pass it to the object, the JSON Web Token object. And once we get the object, we convert this object to an attestation statement actually object so we get the payload from the json web token object and we convert it to an object that would help us to easily uh, use the properties of the payload to be able to achieve what we want to do right so and now you can see this is, is this is is our result it's our attestation statement object gotten from the payload and here i can 
open this this the result object so that you will see what are the properties right so you will see what are the properties as you can see as i explain here is the cts profile match which is true that means our device integrity is okay the evaluation type is basic this is the nonce right this is a timestamp um this is the, our apk package name that is the package name of the application that launched the um, that launched the request so and this is the digest that is it so you find out that uh, this object at the session statement object is just an easy way we did to be able to use um, the properties from the json web token payload so once we have this we now send it to our function and in this function we can do whatever we want but for just for demonstration purpose we display this message this device matches this device matches the cts properties right and that was all so this is an easy way to use the attestation api so i will leave all the links to the various resources to the code um to the sample code even from google on how to use on uh, this api and so i will leave a, a, also the link on uh, on the google console uh, library so that you can s s go know where to go in order to in order to activate uh, this library in your project so just let me know in the comment section below if there's anything that was not clear for you or if you have any question and i'll be happy to answer to your question that being said see you in the next video it was a pleasure. Thank you.